little wheel spin. <laughs> yep, that's the road to my happy place. Or my stable place, at least. Hey, we're getting cold again. Of course we are. Perfect time for that. Uh, pick that up. Definitely better to do indoors. You know. Get some more firewood and bring enough with me. Fresh Panda quick tip video. <laughs> Ask you little bastards. It's bunny rabbits for your vegetables and pandas for your, your honey. Come on. Alright, we're running out of time. So, get oriented here. There's the trader. I think our line is like right there. Just behind the first ridge line is where my marker is going to be. I want to go n that way. That's easy, right? That's the way the clouds are going. Clouds aren't really moving much. <laughs> well, that way. I want to go that way and pro pick one more time before I pick my big. Before I pick my spot. Trees are not helping. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Run right past it. Hey there, Grichink. So, we're going to pro pick one more time, then we'll come back to this. So I'm going to go this way and up over the ridge. This is not friendly pro pick terrain. This is a little better. All right here will do. All right, so our last one was high bismuth 3.4 and decent cassiterite 0.1. Seeing if we get better readings.
Survey says ultra high, 4.4, but we're down to poor Cassiterite. <laughs> Decent, 0.1. Poor, or very, yeah, poor, 0.1. <laughs> Uh, we're up to Ultra Bismuth, though. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it and we're gonna dig right here. It's a little easier to find because it's a little more out in the open. Getting cold again? What the hell? You and your random cold crap. It's really starting to annoy me. Well, I don't know. Is, is the 100 zinc that I've got gonna be enough to make a, uh... Make an anvil? Otherwise, if I'm going to need more zinc, then <laughs> we're, we're still going to be stuck. Alright, let's, uh... Well, hey there, Flax. Already getting dark again. We're gonna dig this out a little bit. We're gonna put up a little hut. <laughs> Stab that flax. Stab it. That's plenty big. It. My little hut piggy, go away. No sharing. I didn't bring a door. Or enough dirt. <laughs> All right, Snow, you're really starting to annoy me. Oops. Destroyed my only piece of grass that I need to start the fire. All right, we have warmth, we have food. We have a little hovel. I just need to build a, 
a new tower over on this side instead of the other one to mark it on our way out. Um, we've got slightly positive stability, which is nice. Actually, I don't know if if it's slightly positive or not because we're maxed. We'll dig down over in this corner. Assault. seems worse. Is it just the darker stone? <laughs> Obsidian. far down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, eight. Ten ladders, twenty blocks. We're a little higher up on the mountainside for this one's starting position. I think I'll go down another at least four ladders. Consider that kind of my start point. Let's do five left. Five more ladders. And we'll level out and we'll do some checking. Two. Still no ore nearby. We're looking for a bismuth night right now. Um, so let's expand this out.
Three by three, three by three. So we'll drop down to this level. I'll consider this my starting point. And we're gonna go. I don't believe you can move the teleporters. One. All right, here we go again. Ability's still doing good. That's a good sign. Bismuth! Finally! Oh my god, we might actually get out of this stupid <laughs> bronze boondoggle that we've been in. Okay. Oh man. Mind right into it. Give Bismuth! Give! Bismuth. Don't be hiding from me. small amounts nearby. Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right. I want to be able to use up all the zinc. Make sure I have enough for all of the incidentals.
<laughs> yeah, I know we've got a pretty imbalanced quantities right now. I don't know when I'll find zinc again, so. All right, so we know we've got bismuth, and it's a high bismuth concentration area, so. We should be able to come back and get more once I track down some zinc. There's no zinc in this deposit. So, it is uh, 2300, huh? It's going to be dark when we get out top. The door is facing the direction we have to go to get to our base. <clears throat> Leave it at that. We'll come back when and if we need more bismuth. They're waiting for me. All right, let's reset some things here. Need that on the bar, that over there, that. Um, knife. The dirt. All right, that's my normal setup. Everything else is just random junk. Only thing I worry about is the uh, the wolves. Yeah, I've had other mines that have been stable, even all the way down into the ground, which is nice. I had one in my, my easy mode solo game. Alright, let's, uh, let's tank up on food. And go ahead and make the run. Didn't actually mark it. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard to find again, but at least temporarily throw a torch up. Yeah, yeah. I'm busy, guys. Torch is going to go out if I don't put dirt on top of it. All right, now we're out of here. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Ah, there's my base. Yeah, pretty should be pretty easy to find. Just kind of go straight that way. Need to get that one relit up there, but not right now. We'll worry about it when we come back. Uh oh.
Ah, uh, yay, we're on the Autobahn. Wee. <laughs> I hear you chittering out there, stupid raccoons. I better have better have beehives when I get back. Okay, look at all that stone. Uh, this stone I want to turn into the other stuff. Oh. So we got a few more blocks. We can do some more uh, roof replacement. <laughs> Not gonna worry about that currently. Clay, horsetail, stick. Keep my pile of dirt. Eats. to this. Oh, not another empty jar. my zinc there's my iron bloom <laughs> or my iron nuggets my iron bloom and then a whole bunch of copper of course all right so air crucible It's sixty three, sixty three. Mm. Or that. Oh, I, I know those numbers. I'm multiplying out though. <laughs> so sixty three, sixty three, then thirty six and eighteen. I I think that's what I need. So, three, sixty-three, thirty-six, eighteen. Hey, I mathed properly. <laughs> I did proper math. 
900 units of bismuth bronze ingots. That should get our, uh, our anvil made. Alright. Let the uh, firewood do the initial preheat. Switch to charcoal. That stuff back for really have much better to do than sit there and watch the bismuth <laughs> or watch the uh, crucible. So we could empty the honey bucket. Fifteen liters of honey in the barrel. Have like eighteen liters if the trash pandas hadn't gotten to my Populated, empty, empty, and eh, it's gonna be a while. And <laughs> they're guarding all the doors. Come on, cook faster, cook faster.
Yeah, we finally finished her chase down a very high, or no, I think it's an ultra high, ultra high bismuth location on the pro pick over in the new area <laughs> where we teleported over to. Found it fairly painlessly. I'm just hoping this gives me enough material to bootstrap my way into the Iron Age so I can just bypass bronze. I just, I've just i never been to the Iron Age, so I don't know all the steps and requirements. I know I need at least this anvil, and I'm not sure beyond that. This finishes up. We're just going to pour it into the mold. As soon as that's done, we'll place it and we'll see how the uh, how the iron process works. I don't think I need a better hammer, but I, I'm not 100% on that. We'll see when we try to do anything. I think I need to make an iron chisel first. I think it's just a hammer and then uh, an iron chisel. Yeah, I've actually got lots of iron. I got two different places where we found iron. One of them is just pretty much right below my base here. <laughs> my charcoal pit's right over there and there was a cave right next to it. Down that cave is a big old iron vein that we haven't dug out yet. And then we've got another one in, hey now. We've got another iron we've already found in my tunnel I used to escape out of the uh, the teleporter the area, the far side of it. So yeah, we got iron. Oh, there we go. Anvil mold, 900 units of metal. We have 900 units of bismuth bronze ingots. Do it. Do it! It Yeah, I know the hammer doesn't need to be different, but you need an iron anvil. Or not an anvil, you need an iron chisel. According to the recipe I just looked at. <laughs> and it didn't look like it was rotating between the different things. So the iron ingot requires an iron chisel. Whether it allows me to do it with a copper chisel, I don't know. I would think not, but we'll find out. All right, we just got to wait for this thing to cool off. Not burning charcoal unnecessarily. And then we'll see what we can do. I should probably... Well, no, I got to figure out how to work the iron bloom. I don't know how to work the iron bloom yet, so... I'm not going to do anything else till we, uh, we figure out the iron bloom. So... Do away... Oh, well, yeah, we, we got a little bit more bismuth still. <laughs> Just a little. Out of our tiny amount of digging we've done. Typically, chisels one of them. Oh no, you do have to. Uh, you have to do the chisel on the the anvil. So, all right, we got to find something to do while we wait for the anvil mill. Uh, we could go down and get some more iron since we think we're about to enter the Iron Age. Wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. We're gonna do that. We're gonna need that one. But away. Uh, actually, we'll put that one up.
We're gonna at least go relight the torches down there since we're probably gonna be heading back down there if we do get all the iron stuff figured out. So, down we go. Offhand the lantern for. They don't have it all blocked off successfully. Remember, right? That one went. I think nowhere. <laughs> And more iron. Lots of iron. So, they, uh, there. We'll scoop the saltpeter up eventually. Yeah, it's like 30 seconds away from my base, so <laughs> I'm not in a hurry to grab the saltpeter. I have no real use for it right now. I'm not interested in making bombs, and my garden's frozen for the winter, so it's no hurry. I haven't tried mining bombs yet. I don't know anything about them. I'm typically extremely hesitant to use explosives of any kind. Just training from Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. <laughs> explosives make me really nervous in any kind of game I play permadeath rules in. Yeah, we saw sulfur somewhere. I, I I don't remember where I saw it. I want 
to say I grabbed it, but I don't remember. We got almost a full stack. I'll leave this section exposed so I can find it easy later. Grab a few here and then we'll take off. Let's get out of here. in our happy place for a few. It's ready! Not the fastest it'll spin. Forget. Any faster over here? We're about the best spot. Mm -hmm. We'll just gather some more dirt for some more paving superhighways. Yeah, I only care about the weapon upgrades if 
they get me enough damage to hit or kill an enemy in less attacks. So, for example, the spears, if iron spears will kill them in two spears. Otherwise, I'll just keep using copper. I mean, it was going to take me <laughs> three just because of the way the math works for, for both. Then it doesn't really help me that one technically does more damage than the other. It might make a difference on the larger, the deeper enemies, but for the top level enemies that I'm constantly fighting, it wouldn't be worth it. Math changes, I guess, for the uh, harder ones later.